Hey everybody. So today we're going to wrap up our review of the Neewer Lighting System Kit. And I'm going to wrap that up by putting it all together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to park my camera here uh, on the tripod and I am going to install everything in the kit in this space. So uh, I've had it up, obviously. Uh, come on, grab focus here. Uh, I've had it up uh, in this area, so I know it obviously fits. But I have a, a new kind of a retaining system that I'm using for the material to draw attention on it. Um, as you may have noticed in one of the previous videos, there's a large gap between the um, end of the material for the green screen and the, the, the supporting pole. So you're supposed to be able to use provided clips to hold those in place so you can pull out all of the wrinkles, which is important for green screen. But unfortunately, there's about a 12 inch gap. So uh, I think I might have come up with an idea. So we're gonna put that into play and then we're gonna put it together straight out of the bag. So I'm gonna show you here what I've got. Here is the main bag and there's cat toys. Uh, here is the main bag and then here is the, the secondary bag, uh, which has the stands for the, green, the screen itself. Uh, this is the stand, pardon the crap in the background, but uh, this is a stand that I actually used to shoot from, and this is the wall we're going to be shooting at. So, all right, uh, I'm going to give you a, the best seat in the house, and uh, we'll put this together. Hopefully, it goes. Uh, hopefully, it goes pretty smoothly. So, um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, leave them below, and uh, I'll get started. All right, hang tight. Here's some movie magic for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you have to get the right ends. Okay, that's better. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> well, you can't put it together wrong. I guess that's, that says something, right? Not for me, but it does say something. easily uh, into this space so there is a front and back and here comes Bella top that uh, connects it to the tube it looks like for some reason 
she's popped out. So. All right, we'll work on that later. that part um, as you can see this is obviously still all wrinkly and crap so uh, what I'm going to attempt to do now is to take care of that with a few little custom made items that I have rigged up so I'm gonna try to come in close here show you what I'm talking about here. so uh, these are basically many suspenders so spoiler uh, it has the metal class end uh, that if you've ever worn suspenders you're very familiar with those now what I picked was uh, and I actually these are ones that I made uh, hand sewing so please don't laugh but on the inside as I'm not going to probably be able to show you is plastic so I wanted something that wasn't going to do any damage to the material and so when I found these and these were plastic I'm like uh, plastic coated. Now these do not have that so what I'm going to use these for is basically extensions and these will actually be the the black ones will be the one that actually make contact with the material so all right here we go again. <laughs> I'm just playing actually I, I feel pretty confident that this is going to work for us because this gives us quite a bit more length and then what I should be able to do is to use the provided clamps one second use the provided clamps uh, to hold one side and then use these to take care of the other because you want as many points as possible you know to pull it straight so excuse me while I drink on the job off we go Okay, we're gonna go with plan B. <laughs> it's not enough room. So I have more of the material 
that uh, I made the original clamps with. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually just going to measure this off, cut pieces of it, and then uh, use that to wrap this around the pole itself. Then use those clamps to actually affix to the uh, the curtain itself. So here we go. It's almost as bad as live TV. So what I've done, because all of my black clips are basically the same length, so I found one that looks like I only want to put a small amount of tension on it. So I'm going to cut it a little long because you can always take it off. You can't put it back on. Trick from cutting hair. And uh, we'll see if this works. So. I think that worked pretty well. So uh, what I'm trying to do is, as you can see, probably trying to match them up to, to the clamps on the opposite side. So uh, I'm going to repeat this process until uh, we get to the top. Don't tell my son I'm using his outdoor chair. Uh, I have a stool somewhere. See, I'm just taking this piece of fabric tape and getting the ends get even and then clamping it down. So, and now Bella is taking a break. Not perfect, uh, definitely could use uh, some more tension, but uh, I have more elastics to take that up, uh, which I think I'm probably going to have to use, um, especially as you can see, you know, right in through here is a little rough. So, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let me see. I do have some more of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm kind of roll. I'm going to just turn these clamps backwards, uh, so they increase their tension. Uh, see this one up here. I don't know if you're going to tell it or not. Uh, actually, it's not really catching anything. So it's not doing much good if it's moving around. Mm, a little bit. A little bit. Uh, these clamps are honestly uh, a little too big for uh, the thickness of the stand that they're on. Sorry, I'm a guy. I can't do two things at once. So, all right, that'll be okay. I'm going to work on this top part over here, and then um, we'll see where we're at. This one's a little different. Sorry, I didn't mean to be showing you my back there. This one has the metal clamps on it, but I don't want to put this directly on the material. So I need to find, uh, I've got a small piece of fabric that I'm going to grab out of the kitchen, and then we'll put this on the material and I'll feel much better. Uh, don't laugh. 
my daughter made me save that piece of material one day <laughs> and it stayed in my junk drawer and then now I need it so uh, once again family saving me so all right so let's see if we can make this work without tearing the material this is muslin so All right, so this is what we look like pretty well set up. Um, can use some tightening up here and there, some fine tuning. Uh, this is the first time that we've put it up, and so as this process goes on, uh, you know, then obviously it's going to. I think it's going to be a little easier. Uh, this setup over here, uh, using the flexible fabric tape and the suspender clips, highly, highly recommend. Uh, you have complete and total control over how much tension you have. What I did here, where these are just cut and the ends are grabbed on, I did that. I, I didn't want to like sew it together so that way I could move it and adjust the, the flexibility of it. And if I needed to, they were cut what I was assuming would be a little long. But as you can see, what I thought would be a little long actually worked out, worked out to be just about perfect. So uh, definitely doable. And uh, I'm going to get a price list together that will be down in the comment section. Uh, for everything that's in the kit, including the clips, and uh, because again, these were also items that were necessary to make this thing function properly. So now I'm going to get our lights up, and uh, then once we get our lights up, we'll do a quick test, see how the green screen works out, see how we like the lighting. What you have now is just totally room lighting. I had this is just early enough. This is about the time of day where I have about the best lighting in here, so that's why I went ahead and shot now. So uh, I'm going to unbox this, uh, get all of this stuff up, and then, like I said, we'll, we'll move forward after I drink my coffee because I literally just heard myself repeat the exact same sentence I had just said. That's how you know it's time. It's like deja vu, you know? It's not a glitch in the matrix. You know, you just need more coffee. So... All right, here we go.
second time I'm putting these together. So they are definitely, I would say, user friendly. Still haven't looked at the directions yet online. I'll do that as soon as I put this up and it doesn't work. All right, now I'm gonna kind of pseudo set these up a little bit uh, just because I need them out of my way. Um, one thing that I'm attempting to do is to extend from the bottom rather than the top, which was the mistake I made with the green screen. Um, I really should have uh, probably just left that top part unextended. It's extremely lightweight, and I noticed that the uh, as it went up unevenly, uh, it bent. So you're really doing it one person at a time. You're only going to be able to go about you know half its length before you're going to have to go back and forth. So um, not sure if that's good or bad. It's kind of just what it is, I guess. So I'm going to put this one over here. And so then here we have our umbrella lights. Um, and uh, both of them are up and going. Uh, we have our two softs that are up. And basically, plugged, uh, once we're plugged in, we'll be ready to roll. So I am going to do that just with the two lights. Uh, because honestly, I'm not sure I can get all these in. No, actually, you know what? We'll run four lights. I have all the electricity that I can use right now <laughs> for this month. Uh, but uh, we'll get this set up the best that we can, and then we'll see what we can make her look like. All right, hang tight. So let's see if they work. All right, so here's what we have so far. Now, again, still haven't read the directions. If you uh, watched the previous videos, you saw that they actually didn't come with much instructions, but they did come with a QR code that takes you to their website, and so I'm sure that's, that's gonna give me a lot more information. Now, um, this took me off camera this took a uh, 12 13 minutes to totally get this set up the way that it is i've changed it a couple times uh, because to be quite honest with you um, i don't think i'm going to be able to properly light this background uh, so that you see you can you can see these shadows and uh, i'm going to be hopefully be flipping in green screen elements uh, in and out of this so that way you can kind of see the, the problems that it causes. But this is still much better. So this problem is easily solved. You know, one of the easiest things to do is to actually just to come forward enough. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the camera up. As you can see, I'm actually, I shoot a few feet away. Um, kind of hide the wrinkling. See that top part needs to be worked on. But whoop. And I did not securely uh, mount my camera to the stand. So uh, I'm going to pull this down a little bit. I think this will still be all right. Uh, but you can see this is this light here uh, using to try to kind of like separate because uh, from this point this actually will probably not do too bad on green screen as long as I could uh, take care of that uh, dark spot over there. But work in progress. So uh, hope that helped. Uh, total time elapsed will be down in the comments below. Uh, because there's actually a few things that were going on while this is happening, and so I want to I want to make it uh, um, as honest and straightforward as possible. Uh, it was extremely easy. Listen, this is the second time that I did this. This was a no stress setup. the The most aggravating part of the entire process was getting it uh, actually up. And it, next time that I do it, what I'll do is for each segment is only take it up about halfway, lock it in, and then go back and forth because it seems like it can handle about that much uh, care, that much travel, that much carry inside that uh, housing before it is too much one way or the other for the uh, material to handle it. So, thanks for watching. Stop back in next time uh, when we are going to be reviewing the very thing that this video is being recorded on. Um, 
and uh, that video uh, I think you're really going to enjoy it uh, because I had a lot of fun getting it and it's actually it's, it's brought a lot of joy to me and the whole family so highly recommend it stay tuned for that video uh, coming up soon all right love you guys thanks for stopping in talk to you soon bye